death is coming. Hello everyone, in this video I will talk and show you all the heavy armor sets on the Exile Lands that have strength weapon damage bonus. There are a total of 10 armor sets plus one piece of legendary armor that can be found in Exile Lands. First I will begin with the DLC armors. There are two sets that provide strength weapon damage. One is the Guardian Armor from the DLC The Butcheries of Darketo. And the next is Pictish Warchief heavy, heavy Set from Savage Frontier. Both armor sets come in normal and epic version and have the exact same stats. Normal version is automatically learned at level 10 when you unlock armor and knowledge and has a base armor value of 400 and plus 15% strength weapon damage. Epic version is automatically learned at level 60 when you unlock Exile Epic Knowledge. Has a base armor value of 1000 and plus 15% strength weapon damage. With a shield right, the armor value is 1321 and plus 25% strength weapon damage. Next we have the Hyperborean Slaver Armor, also comes in two versions, the normal and the epic version. The normal version can be learned at level 20 and needs 5 learning points, has a base armor value of 451 and provides plus 15% strength weapon damage. The epic version can be learned at level 60 for 7 learning points has a base armor value of 900 and plus 15% strength weapon damage. With a shield right, the total armor value is 1189 and plus 25% strength weapon damage. Next, we have the perfected heavy armor set that can be obtained after completing the master armorer journey and you will need to be level 60 to craft it. It comes with a base armor value of 1100 and plus 15% strength and 15% agility weapon damage. With a shield right, total armor value of the set is 1455 plus 25% strength and plus 25% agility weapon damage. Next is the Voidforge Dragon armor which can be obtained by interacting with the tablet at the bottom of the sinkhole in H6 just under the obelisk. For a easy access to the bottom of the sinkhole, you can place an elevator from the edge of the sinkhole all the way down. As a warning, you will need to first learn the library of esoteric artifacts knowledge in the Anim city inside the library. It is an epic set so you will need to be level 60 to craft it. It has a base armor value of 1200 plus 80 health points, plus 10 stamina, and plus 6% strength weapon damage. With a shield ride, right, total armor value of 1587, plus 114 health points, plus 12 stamina, plus 8% strength weapon damage. Next is the Redeemed Legion set, can be unlocked by interacting with the tablet stone behind the King Scorch boss inside the Black Keep in F12. As a warning, you will need to have an armorer at the armorer bench to see the recipe. Has a base armor value of 1100, plus 40 health points, plus 15 stamina, plus 30 carry capacity, and plus 12% strength weapon damage. With a shield droid, has an armor value of 1455, plus 48 health points, plus 17 stamina, plus 36 carry capacity and plus 16% strength weapon damage. Next we have the champion's armor. You can unlock this inside the Clial Stronghold dungeon in B8 by interacting with the tablet in the room next to the arena champion. As a warning you may need to fight the arena champion in at least one skeleton serpent man. For this set you will need to farm armor scraps from the dungeon. Champion armor set has a base armor value of 1300 plus 15 stamina and plus 6% strength weapon damage. With a shield right, 
has an armor value of 1719 plus 21 stamina plus 10% strength weapon damage. Next we have the Godbreaker armors. There are three sets, all three can be learned from the last boss room inside Clyde's stronghold by interacting with the two tablets by the exit of the room. First, Godbreaker armor is the Rusted Armor set with a base armor value of 1000 plus 5 stamina plus 15 carry capacity plus 3% to strength and 3% to agility weapon damage. With a shield ride armor value of 1321 plus 7 stamina plus 21 carry capacity plus 5% strength and plus 5% agility weapon damage. Second is the Godbreaker armor set as a base armor value of 1320 plus 5 stamina plus 15 carry capacity plus 3% strength and plus 3% agility weapon damage. With a shield ride armor value of 1745 plus 7 stamina plus 21 carry capacity plus 5% strength and plus 5% agility weapon damage. Last from the Godbreaker armors is the Chilled Godbreaker armor set as a base armor value of 1100 plus 5 stamina plus 15 carry capacity plus 3% strength and plus 3% agility weapon damage. With a shield ride armor value of 1455 plus 7 stamina plus 21 carry capacity plus 5% strength and plus 5% agility weapon damage. Last, we have the Executioner's Hood, which can drop from the Executioner Triskal boss in the Death Whisper Winds in I6, has an armor value of 312 and plus 6% strength weapon damage, also has 2400 durability. The best heavy strength armor for your troll, or even new if you want to go full strength weapon damage is Redeemed Legion Helmet, Redeemed Legion Pauldron, Godbreaker Grips, Champion Leggings, and Perfected Heavy Sabatons for a total armor value of 1551 plus 31% strength weapon damage. To further increase your armor value, you can also put bulked armor plating on your armor and will add 125 armor value. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one. Bye bye.